Welcome to the Literacy Circus, second grade, week 25 through 26. This week we're going to learn to tell time. The first things that you need to know is that the long hand points to the minutes on a clock, while the short hand points to the hour on a clock. So, we know that if our short hand is pointing at one of these numbers, then it is that hour. So if the short hand is pointing at the one, it is one o'clock in the hour. But if it is pointing, if the short and the long hands are pointing at the one, then it's one o five. Because in the minutes, the one represents five minutes past the hour. If the shorthand is pointing at the three, like on this clock, then it's three o'clock. But what about the minutes? If the long hand is pointing at the one, then it's three o five. If the shorthand is pointing at the four, then we know it's four. And then if the long hand is pointing at the six, then it is 430. Because the long hand represents the minutes, while the short hand represents the hours. So let's go around this clock and count the minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And here is at the 60 minute mark, we just say o'clock or zero, zero. Okay? So, if you know how to count by fives, you can tell the minutes in time on a clock like this. You just count by five, starting at the one, all the way around to the 11. And remember that it's two zeros if it's pointing at the 12. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you like and subscribe to the Literacy Circus. Have a great week.